Hey guys, so I'd like to talk really briefly today about the different types of neurons. Um, well, before we kind of get into the different shapes that you might come across when looking at different neurons, we've got two basic categories of neurons. We've got neurons that transfer information to the brain. Those are called afferent neurons, right? So neurons that are connected, uh, that connect sensory receptors to the brain, those are afferent neurons. And then you have neurons that take information away from the brain. Those are efferent neurons. Now, among those two categories, you're going to come across a couple of different shapes of neurons. The most common um, type of neuron um, is a multipolar neuron. And this is the same one that we use as an example in class. A multi -ner multipolar neuron, what he's going to have is he's going to have a nucleus in the cell body. Okay, within that nucleus, he's going to have DNA, of course. Right Around that cell body, you're going to have dendrites that extend off. Okay. These dendrites are typically pretty short or shorter than the axon. These dendrites extend off the cell body, kind of like this. And then on the other side, that cell body condenses into an axon hillock, which then turns into an axon. Now that axon can branch at some locations where it'll innervate different cells, or it may not branch, but you'll have a longer axon and shorter uh, dendrites that surround that cell body. 97% of our neurons are multipolar, just like this. Another type of neuron that you might come across is called a bipolar neuron. This guy also has a cell body with a nucleus, and DNA, but instead of having a bunch of dendrites, it has a single dendrite, and, or dendron. And, and what this guy looks like is kind of like this. So you'll have a, a single dendron in the middle, right? This will receive information from cells It'll have the cell, a single dendrite on one side, uh, the cell body in the middle, and then a single axon that transmits information away. Okay. Now, you'll come across these quite frequently um, next to sensory receptors like the uh, photoreceptors within our retina. Also, you'll find this, uh, uh, these bipolar neurons connected to uh, hair cells within our uh, inner ear. Okay, so these are commonly afferent neurons that are connected to sensory receptors like those found in the eye and the ear. Another type of neuron that you might come across um, is, is pretty unique. You'll have a cell body, okay, but this cell body is connected to a little um, tube of nervous tissue. The nucleus is going to be located here. And then you'll have a single conducting channel or tube where information is received on this side and transmitted to the right on that side. Okay? This is called a unipolar neuron. Okay? And these are quite rare in the body. You will find these close to the spinal cord. Specifically, um, these cell bodies of these unipolar neurons um, are, um, are going to be located in the dorsal root ganglion, which are right beside the spinal cord. These are afferent nerves or afferent neurons that transmit sensory information to the spinal cord, which we'll talk about later when we get to the um, peripheral nervous system. Okay. Um, finally, another category of neuron you might come across is called an interneuron. An interneuron is simply just a neuron that connects two other neurons together. These are quite common when we talk about reflexes and circuits within the brain. Okay. So um, it's a nice little summary. I think the key words here: afferent neuron, efferent neuron, interneuron, multipolar, bipolar, and unipolar neuron.